every year when it would be my time for my mother's birthday, I'd say, Mom, what do you want for your birthday? And she goes, you know what I want? I want a rock. <laughs> and so every year I'd be like, all right, got to go find Mom a rock. And I'd go to the rock store in Santa Monica or I'd find something on the beach. I'd put it in a box, make it nice, and, and, here, and she'd be like, isn't this beautiful? Look at this rock. Or it'd be a shell, or it'd be a plant, or anything like that. That is what she wanted. These, these nature drawings, they were looked at, I think, by people would be like, oh, look at these pretty nature drawings, and kind of put aside. And they weren't given their due. And when I walked into LACMA, and I saw it on the wall, I froze. Because they were so important to my mother. They were her, I'm giving myself little chills right now, they were giving her her relationship to her world. And it was a way for her to tap in and just sketch something beautiful so that she could have a relationship to nature and to beauty that she knew that dialogue was going to inspire her. I think a lot of people kind of looked at them and be like, oh, they're just like sketches of leaves. Like, no, if you knew my mother, you couldn't walk down the street with my mother because she would be stopping all the time to pick up a leaf and put it in her purse. And you would look at her purse later, it'd be full of leaves, <laughs> full of broken leaves. You know, this is a, a retrospective, a solo retrospective of size and scope. It's in her entire life. And so to walk into that space and to be able to see all these facets of my mother and that nature, it was complete. It was a true representation of who she was as a person as, and, and as an artist. My parents' home was representational of their life. It was an exchange. Two artists who found great beauty in very simple things. Feathers are something that I grew up with. Uh, they're always around the house. I was a kid, I was a little kid, and I was like, well, mom's really into feathers, okay. But then, seeing her draw them, that's when they became, from, for me, very important and a mystical object. And when she moved from those feathers into these clouds, sky, earth, that's all Taos. Taos became a very important part of our family and a very important part for her. The vistas, the light, the color of the sky with these brown mountains, it became a real connection for both my parents and for the family. We would look forward to every summer going to Taos. Her feathers in these paintings, you know, they're, they're floating. They're not stagnant, they're not resting, they're moving. And that is what she was about. She was interested in those relationships, again, of nature, the dance, the connection between her, herself, and her world. And then I remember I was 10 years old, 11 years old, might have even been younger than that. My dad picked me up and said, well, where are we going? Well, we're going to your mother's studio. And I was like, we're going to her, she has a studio? I didn't even know she had a studio. And we walked into her studio and <laughs> there were these big nude paintings of my mother, self-portraits. And I'm like, oh my God, that's, that's, my, that's my mom's naked. <laughs> And I was like, what's going on? What is this? It, it wasn't until I got older that I began to understand her practice and her self-portrait practice. 
here was my mother who was an artist, a very good artist, but was not getting the recognition that she deserved. But she still had to express herself. And I think that her self-portraits, she started small, she would do her hands, she would do th the objects with the color, the apples, the pears, the cherries. You could just say, oh, well, they're, they're just objects. No, these are fruits. These are very sensual. These are very passionate uh, objects. And to paint your nude body next to these is a connection to your world. And very playful. You know, she has one with uh, the toy car along the floor. Again, it's a relationship to her world. I remember that toy car. She talks about her work being a diary. My work is my diary. And, and it is absolutely true. It was a way for her, instead of writing down, you know, dear diary, it was to paint her life experience where she was in that moment. And I don't, I don't think that the 70s were an easy time for her. I don't think this was an easy time for her. I think that she really was like, who am I? What is my life as Lucita Mulliken? No, I'm Lucita Hurtado, the artist.